Yo, what's up guys, it's Sean with Primal Path, I'm just installing some fonts right now. Um, I got this Mission Gothic font on Lost Type. This is it here. Install it all manually. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up Adobe Illustrator CS6. Let's go File New. Want to expand it, object expand. I'm gonna go file, save as, this is important. Let's save it as uh, logo 2. But when it come up to this screen, you do not want to save it as version CS6. We're gonna go with the Illustrator 8 file. Compatible with C, uh, Cinema 4D. So once that is done, we're gonna open up Cinema. All we're gonna do is go File, Merge. And we're gonna look for that uh, file that we that uh, Illustrator file that we just saved. Logo 2. That was it. Hit Open. Scale 1. That's fine. Hit S to bring it up. And as you can see, it brings it up a group because it's. One of the paths is our uh, is our our canvas actually from Illustrator. We can just delete that, and we have all these separate paths that now we can we can extrude them. They're just splines, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go array. Oh my bad, sorry. We're gonna go under this tab here and go extrude. And you can just drag those, drag your individual path files on top of extrude, just like that. You can make a bunch of copies. You can do this, you can do individually. Just go one, one at a time until you've done your whole word kind of deal, you know. But I think there's another way around it. I'm kind of new to Il uh, this program as well, so you know I'm just working around it. But I think we could do something here. We could maybe combine all of these, go up, connect objects and delete. So it's just one path. Oh snap. Just like that it worked. So if you want to do the whole word quickly, just connect objects and delete all your splines. And you'll have a quick logo done just like that. Add some lights into the scene. 